So in this one, it says, what is the limit as x approaches 2? Well, the problem is, guys, we can't apply direct substitution here, because when you plug 2 into this function, you get 0 in the denominator. So therefore, we know the function is undefined there, right? OK. So then we say, well, is there anything mathematically that we can do to simplify the problem? Yeah, we could obviously factor the numerator and denominator, right? So I can rewrite this. Huh? So I could do this as x minus 3 times x plus, I'm sorry. Dang it, that's supposed to be a plus. Sorry, I had to change that last minute. Yeah. So therefore, we can obviously see that that simplifies to give us the limit as x approaches 2 of x plus 3. Now, can I plug in 2 in for x? Yeah. Sure. yeah. But don't you have to go back to the original equation? You could. No, you can't. You can't plug 2 into the original equation. That's why we had to simplify this. So what is happening at negative 2 here? Whole. It's a whole, right? But again, we, it, it doesn't matter what it's defined for. It, de it depends on what it's approaching. So we got to find the value at where that hole should occur. So we just do 2 plus 3, which is equal to 5. Veronica, just be aware that you still have another, um, you have the free response portion of the test, but obviously we don't have time for that today. Yeah. OK. Do you guys want to look at the graph to confirm that? No, you guys OK? You trust me? Wow.